but then it breaks it down and they put it on the city so a lot of these inspectors don't know what they be talking about and then you got to go get the book on them now they got an attitude and still want to fail you sir this book says <laughs> like and then and that happens too and then you got testosterone and all that and they want to argue but i've definitely had that happen where we don't have to pull the book out on them here's the thing the state has statewide codes right basic like building codes and trade codes mm -hmm. but each city so like for example southfield still has like some septic tanks um and um septic tanks and wells some properties still have well water right so in detroit we would uh, it probably ain't any properties with a septic tank right mm -hmm. so city of detroit code may be a little bit different than southfield because southfield has different issues in their city but the state has statewide code which is kind of like the bare minimum but then each city may have their own individual codes based on the ordinance that that particular city passed so your contractors and your subs they need to know those codes in order to talk to the inspectors because sometimes you'll have a new inspector that's green around the ears and they don't know a lot they're just reading off a list put in a gfci or whatever plug but they don't know the electrician know more about this than they do so it's it's just different things your trades people need to really understand the codes for that city that you're doing the work in right and the, so the one, go ahead one thing about section eight and a rental registration in detroit a lot of times so the rental registration mean the property also has to be inspected by the city of detroit meaning interior and exterior if you have your property section 8 certified they will only do the exterior inspection because they feel like section 8 has already done their interior inspection and passed it right